Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into one of the most exciting features in C-Sharp 13, part of .NET 9 release. We are talking about how the new allows ref struct features revolutionizes the way we use generic in C-Sharp till now. If you have ever felt limited by ref struct restriction, this update will blow your mind. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. C Sharp 13 new feature allow refresh in generic. Allow refresh in C Sharp, what it does, it enables safe and efficient use of refresh types like as T in generics, unlocking new possibilities for reusable and high performance code. Okay, so let's start with the problem first. In C Sharp, refresh like as T and read only as T are designed to work directly with memory providing high performance and safety. But before C Sharp 13, you could not use these ref struct types as type arguments in generic classes or methods. Why? Because ref structs follow a strict rules to avoid unsafe memory uses. However, the compiler could not enforce those rules in generic scenario. So if you tried something like this, as you see in this example shown over here, we'll be end up getting the error. So see this example first. So here we have generic class T. It has one method print type where it is accepting generic argument t value and what value that we are going to get it I am just printing into console window with the help of console.writeline statement and then I am just going to attempting to use a ref struct that's what I have written a span int a span is equal to stack alloc int 5 and I have created an instance of the generic class over here generic class span int object is equal to new generic span int if you write something like this we will end up getting the error in C sharp 12 or the earlier version of C sharp so the compiler would not allow a span int as a generic type parameter. So this was a major limitation for developers looking to write reusable high performance generic code. So what's new in C sharp 13? The problem got resolved in C sharp 13 with allows ref struct. So thanks to the new feature called anti constraints, you can now declare that a generic type parameter is explicitly restricted to ref struct types. This makes it possible to use span t and other ref structs safely in generic code. Let's understand with the help of examples on over here. So here we have a generic class t where t colon allows ref struct. If you notice, I have written allows ref struct, which is the new feature of the C sharp 13, so that I can utilize this ref struct in the generic type. Okay, so that's what I have written this where t colon allow ref struct. It has one method print type scope t value, and here we can access the value and we can use that. Now, if you see here again, what I am going to do, I am going to do the same thing. I have created an span int that is the ref struct in the form of the stack alloc int 5, right? And then I have created an instance of the generic class and I'm able to write something like this and it is a valid. There won't be any error when we write something like this. Generic class span int obj is equal to new generic class span int. We won't be getting any error. That's what I have written no error in C sharp 13. So in C sharp 13, if you write something like this, allow ref struct, what it tells to the compiler that the generic type t must be a ref struct. So the compiler enforces all the safety rules automatically ensuring our code is both efficient and safe. Okay, so let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. All right, so here we are in Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo how a generic class can be constrained to allow only types that are ref struct types using the allow ref struct constraint which was introduced in C Sharp 30. To show the demo, what I have done, I have created one console application named allow ref structs demo that has program.cs file. In program.cs file, first of all, I have added necessary namespaces like using system, using system.runtime.compiler services. In program.cs file, we have two classes, one generic class and the second one is the program class. As the name suggests, generic class with allows ref struct constraint. And if you notice, there is a type parameter t is constant to be ref struct type. That's what I have written where t colon allows ref struct over here. So the constraint allows ref struct tells the compiler that this generic type is only valid if t is a ref struct type such as span t or read only span. This is very useful for ensuring that the class only works with types that are stack only, for example, a span int and cannot work with the reference types like list t or the string class. So inside this generic class, we have one method named print type that is accepting generic type argument 
So that's what I have written T value over here. So it's just first check the type of T is equal to type of S pen T. Then this statement is going to get executed, whatever written in this if block. So inside this if block, what I have done, I have used this unsaved dot as T comma S pen int method to safely convert the value of type T to S pen int. So this is possible because T is a constant of the ref struct ensuring that the unsaved dot as conversion is safe. So if the type T is a span int, it will print each element of the span and that's why we are going to get this span value and with this span I'm just going to iterate with the help of for loop and printing all the element whatever it is there in this span it should get printed with the help of this console write a statement okay now if you see this class name program that has main method which is an entry point of this application so first of all in this main method what I'm doing I'm just printing this statement demo of allows ref struct in generics because I'm just giving the demo of how to use this allows ref struct in the generic in C sharp 13 right that's what I am printing this statement into console window then what I have done I have created an span int using the stack alloc so this allocates the integer 1 2 3 4 5 on the stack so span t is a ref struct meaning it only exists on the stack and cannot be stored on the heap this is why a stack alloc is used to allocate it then what I have done I have created a new instance of this generic class that's what I have written generic class span int obj is equal to new generic span int and this is possible to write in C sharp 13 because I have written something like this allows ref struct which is a new feature in C sharp 13 and with the help of this only I am able to write this statement and passing this span int right so this works in C sharp 13 because of the allows ref struct constraint right and that we have defined in generic class where t colon allows ref struct over here and then finally what I am going to do I am just going to use this object of the generic class and calling this print type method and passing this span that contains the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over here. So in this print type method when we are just calling this method is going to get in back and then it will check type of t if it is a span int then it is just going to process and print the integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into console window. So that's how this program is structured. Let me execute this program and show the output to you. Okay so output got appear into the console window. Demo of allows ref struct in generic got printed element of a span int r got printed 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 so now we have seen allows ref struct in generics how we can use it in c sharp 13 in earlier version of c sharp it was not possible yet. so you now must be thinking why is this feature a game changer right so here are three key reasons number one generic reusability so you can now write reusable algorithms that work with high performance types like span t and read only because it deals with the memory directly right second reason is type safety the compiler enforces all the strict safety rules for the ref struct so you can code with confidence last but not the least the performance optimization so with the help of this new feature we can write high performance memory efficient generic code with ease okay so that brings me to end up my session today to sum up in this video we learned c sharp 13's new feature allow ref struct so thanks to C Sharp 13, the limits on ref structs in generics are finally gone, opening up a world of the new possibilities for developers. So what do you think about this new feature? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.